Hello, Kako. I'm Chef Gooch and welcome to KTA Kitchens. Recipe that we're doing today is an ahi belly salad. Now remember, recipe is simply a guideline. You don't have to follow it word by word, step by step. Today, fishmen, they didn't bring in a whole lot of ahi belly. So we got about two ounces of fresh ahi filet. You can use anything in the KTA Kitchens. You can use fresh mahi, ono when it comes in. If you got opa belly cruising around for a day, grab it. It's good. So we're going to make our marinade first. We got one clove of garlic. You can min simply mince it up. If you got this little thing right here called a microplane, even better. Just get that going. Once we're done with that, we've got about, about one to two tablespoons of olive oil. About a quarter teaspoon of salt. About an eighth of fresh cracked pepper. You know that little red can you got sitting down in there? in your kitchen, and I know it's in your kitchen, get rid of it. There's no effort to have one of these babies sitting close by. You can use a whisk or a spoon, anything around. And what you're doing is you're trying to make a paste. It's a marinade, it's gonna coat it, flavor is gonna sink in, marry with the fish, you're gonna get happy, it's good stuff. So right about like this, you got, it's like a paste, it's not too liquidy. So this is really, really simple. It's four ingredients, it's olive oil, garlic, salt, and pepper. That's all you gotta do. Once you got it evenly coated like this, just about like that, we're gonna let it hang out for about an hour. We'll be right back. So when we're about to cook our ahi, you can use any method possible. It's a beautiful Sunday afternoon in Hilo, bust out the grill and grill it. In this case today, we're gonna use a cast iron skillet, one of my favorite kitchen appliances of all time. It's really, really good. Prefer cooking a steak, a fish, or a home defense. Now to get a really, really nice color on your fish or piece of meat or anything that you're gonna cook, really important to get your pan ripping hot. Right about now, you can see a little bit of smoke coming up that's really important. That's ripping hot. Add about a tablespoon of olive oil. You're gonna see the oil. Oil is starting to shimmer across the pan. It kinda of dances like this. That's how you know you're ready to go. Cooking is about using all your senses, not just about reading a recipe. It's about using smell, sight, touch, Feel your food, taste your food. Get to know your food. So right here, got some real nice smells coming out. Got the, got the garlic, the garlic's kind of browning right now. You can feel it. The importance about having a hot pan is that when the proteins hit the hot pan with fat, it'll release on its own when it's ready. For instance, if you ever cook like a, a piece of chicken with the skin on, you throw it in a fry pan and then we try to flip it over, it sticks like Velcro and doesn't flip over. That's because you didn't get your pan hot enough before you added your oil. When you heat up your pan, the surface of the pan will open up the pores. Pores open up, you add your oil and the oil will go inside and create a non-stick surface naturally. Science. Once we've done one side for about a minute or so, and there you go. Nice. Now with any kind of fresh fish, you don't want to cook it all the way through. You want to give it, some people like it seared, like black and blue. Some uh, fattier fish, like belly, you can take it a little bit further. You can take it to like a, a medium or a mid-rare. Just a little bit of pink on the outside, nice and moist. It's perfect. Once we have our fresh fish marinating and hanging out, we're going to make our dressing. So what we got here is about a tablespoon of rinsed capers a pinch of cayenne or fresh cracked pepper or fresh cracked red pepper, a little bit of thyme, about four ounces of olive oil, and an ounce to ounce and a half of white balsamic vinegar. So now we've got the components of our salad to put together. It's right here. About an ounce of arugula, half an ounce of tomatoes, about an eighth of an ounce of sweet onions, some chopped parsley and thyme. Let's bring it all together now. So finally we got our dressing. We're gonna take about our two ounces of white balsamic vinegar, our remaining olive oil, we've got our capers, our thyme, a pinch of cayenne. Once again, still seasoned with a little more salt and pepper. One thing to really remember is always when you cook is taste. Taste everything. In kitchens, we tell our cooks, have you tasted your food? And you'd be surprised often they'll tell you no. You taste everything. Your salad dressing, you want it to be a little bit, just slightly salty. Because when you mix it with your salad greens and everything else, it dilutes again. So you want to go just a little bit past what you think would be ready. Taste it. 
dripping. We're going to take our arugula, tomatoes and onion, and our parsley. Our flat leaf parsley, you could chop it if you want. Personally, I like to rip it. I like big pieces of herbs. I want my flavors to kind of pop. I want it to crunch. I want people to know exactly what they're eating. Rip it up. Mix it. And you're good to go. Right about time I'm finishing this up. My ahi should be ready. Some people can cut it. Me, I'd rather just take my ahi, just kind of break it apart in large pieces like that. Makes a perfect meal. Hot day. You know, being in Hilo, everyone's got fish in their fridge. It's not something that, you know, takes a whole lot of effort. And that's about it. You can drizzle it with a little bit of leftover dressing if you want. Finish with some olive oil if you desire. So last but not least, we need to taste what we make. Mm -hmm. It's good. It's good. It's light, it's refreshing, it's perfect for a lazy afternoon. So once again, my name is Chef Gooch, and model for watching KTA Kitchens. <laughs>